We are uh, shining from Norway and we are here at Provencerok in Finland and uh, this is uh, Jürgen and this is Thor and you are uh, watching Hardcore Sounds TV. All right, so hello everyone. We are here in Province Rock in Seinäoki, Finland, with the two guys from Shining. Hello, how's it going for you guys at the moment? <laughs> it's uh, going good. Uh, thank you. We just arrived, and uh, uh, half of our stuff is still in Helsinki. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's coming. Uh, I think it's in the car right now. Okay. So apart from that, everything is fine. <laughs> You guys started the band in 1999. Uh, what were your main musical influences when you started the band? It it was uh, like um, uh, John Coltrane uh, jazz music, basically, Spe especially John Coltrane. Uh, some other American jazz people like uh, uh, Ornette Coleman, uh, Dave Liebman. Uh, Michael Brecker, stuff like that, but basically um, Wayne Shorter, uh, Miles Davis, but mostly John Coltrane. So it like, was like acoustic jazz chord, and, uh, like playing jazz music as they played it in late 1960s, early 70s, sort of like retro stuff. Yeah. 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 You guys had a few guest musicians on your previous album. Uh, if you could choose like a musician in the future you would like to work with, who would you choose? What would be your uh, your ultimate guest vocal vocalist, for example, to your next album? There's uh, there are many good vocalists. I'm, I mean, uh, from the top of my head, I would probably choose uh, David Bowie, Demanda Galas, maybe uh, maybe uh, uh, Marilyn Manson. I I mean, I really like his voice. Um, yeah. Anyone good, else? Good choices. Yeah, three. Yeah, those three. Yeah. David Bowie, David Bowie, Diamond the Glass, Marilyn Manson. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, what's your general opinion about the web communities such as Facebook or MySpace? What do you think about those? We have a story for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yesterday, we won one million Norwegian crowns, which is like hundred and twenty-five thousand. US dollars, yep. 150,000 euro. Uh, partly because our fans has like, uh, they got involved, they they voted for us on like internet. Okay. So the, a week ago we were, we were part of, we were, there's a huge Norwegian band, pro probably the, the most successful pop act ever to come out of Norway. Yeah. It's called AHA, and they had like a lot of hits yep. from 20 years back yep. um, and until now. And they've, uh, for the first time, they, they're they're um, they're shutting down the band. So this is their last tour, and they're they want to give out four grants, four big sums of money, yep. four times this million Norwegian crowns to f four different Norwegian bands. And they so they and the jury had first decided on 50 bands and then they got those 50 bands down to eight bands and yesterday was like a big we were two bands from our part of the country and one of those two bands were going to get that money and we played like a concert for 80,000 people okay. and people voted they voted on the internet before and they voted during the concert and uh, the jury had like given one band 100 points and one band 60 points we don't know which and uh, but basically that was to be added to the votes from the from the people yeah. so people from around the world started getting involved and uh, we had a, a girl from um, Spain that during the night made like made this banners that was supposed to be put on lost FM and Facebook profiles and myspace right. profiles we had a guy from from the US running around and voting on all his uh, computers and I mean people from all around the world uh, started doing this and we made this event thing on Facebook and I invited the only two friends I have on Facebook okay. which is our keyboard player and uh, our drummer's wife okay. and then in a couple of days like there were 5,000 uh, invited people so people um, that's my I mean the last week the internet community basically 
earned us one million Norwegian crowns. Yeah. So I like it. So, so, so <laughs> in your case, it's a really good thing. Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, if you guys could choose one band to reunite for a tour, which band would you choose? The members can be dead as well. Okay. Oh, yeah. So it has to be a band that is not longer yeah. in existence. Yeah. It's, it's hard to know with if the I mean what bands are really like uh, like have uh, stopped playing because yeah, nine in, because Nine Inch Nails they just I mean the yeah. Trent Reznor are they saying play, that they are not playing. Yeah. But then suddenly there, I mean, suddenly there's a whole string of shows more. So, yeah. and uh, and um, and in Norway we have like all the big rock bands from when I was really young. Yeah. They've all reunited. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, but, but, but a lot of bands are reuniting yeah. nowadays. Yeah. I, I can I can mention one. I would like to I would like to see Pantera live. Okay. Uh, so I'd like to have Diamond uh, Dimebag Dimebag yeah. uh, resurrect and play yeah. a gig. But I don't know if that's my top what? top, but that's the first thing I could prim- think of. I mean, I'd like to see Death live also, but I'd actually like to see Pantera more. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I'd like to see John Coltrane play the sax. I'd like to. I mean, Michael Brecker, uh, saxophone player, he died one, two years, one year ago. Uh, but I yeah. mean. Your top band? No, I think uh, John Coltrane is uh, number one. <laughs> yeah, 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 we have a cool yeah, yeah. John Coltrane and Pantera then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, let's discuss a little bit about the festivals in general. Uh, which are your favorite ones in Europe? I like a lot of the. Uh, we haven't been in Finland before, so yeah. we, but this looks yeah. very good. But uh, so this might be probably it could be our favorite at the end of the day yeah. but uh, yeah. apart from that uh, I like a lot of the uh, Belgian and uh, Dutch festivals yeah. like Dur and and Pukkelpop and Lowlands because they're they have all sorts of music sort of like this festival yeah. all sorts of music yeah. they're not like a typical metal festival yeah, typical yeah, like pop different yeah. Genres yeah, yeah, yeah yeah I like that and yeah. uh, we also have like a big uh, festival in Norway uh, which is called Öya Festival, yeah, which has done yeah. that for a long, a long time, yeah. which is really good. Yeah, yeah. Um, I really like the ones, the the one we went to in the in the Netherlands, only a while back. I don't remember the name. Where we played the show with the Enslaved as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Roadburn. 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 Okay. So, uh, ha- it, they bring a lot of experimental bands. bands. A lot of really cool stuff, and, mm-hmm. and not uh, your everyday stuff. It's yeah. a lot of bands that you haven't really heard before, and then you go and see them, and it's a lot of good bands there. Mm. That was good. Yeah. So, uh, what's in the scope next for you guys? What kind of future plans do you have? There's a whole bunch of festivals this summer. There's 16 more. Yeah. So that's a lot, and then we're doing. Then we're doing. Um, what we know for sure is that we're doing two weeks of touring in Norway and we're doing two weeks of touring in Europe. Uh, this is going to happen in October and November and we might also maybe do like four shows in Finland uh, in September uh, 16th to 19th or something like that. Okay. But it's it's not confirmed, yeah. but that's uh, we're thinking about it. We're thinking about not going to the US and going to Finland instead. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good for us. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bo, thank you really much for the chat, for both of you, and good luck for tonight's show. Uh, anything you want to say as a closer to your European fans? Yeah, please give me my stuff. Please <laughs> give us our instruments. Please <laughs> give, give us your gear back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give us the gear, please. It's very hard to play without the stuff. <laughs> thank you really much. Yeah, thank, hey, you. thank you. Thank you.